So I'm working on this uh, strain gauge array. It's a XYZ. Uh, this is the Z and this is the Y and I want to add the X to it. It's on a, uh, a mounting block here that has two set screws. You can uh, loosen them and lower it and adjust, make adjustments. You can also loosen this screw and swing it around. And then of course you can also release the magnet and slide it around the plate anywhere you want it. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm adding in the third uh, bracket here that I just made and it's for this uh, 3139 load cell. We're using a, a array of these. And uh, I just drilled the holes for it and now I'm going to mount it in this uh, fashion like this. Hopefully. So these are M2.5 screws. And so the way I need to uh, attach it is uh, from this side. And what I like to do is get one screw started and then put the other one in. Makes it a lot easier if you have a little, a little, uh, motion to move around the screws lined up and the, the holes are slightly larger so you can make a slight adjustments if you need to and so now I need to attach uh, the other load cell it goes right on there like that so it's going to be screwed from the bottom. And I like to have all the wiring in the same proximity. It just makes it simpler. They're all sort of the same length that way. And they all get tied into a processing board, an amplifier. Not this board, this is for something else. So the load cells are themselves, the bodies are threaded. That makes it convenient. So now I've got all um, the X, Y, and the Z. configured here and I've actually got two of them they're mirror images um, for the left side and the right side I'll show you that and so here's the the mouse tunnel it's got the two uh, load cells there in the bottom and it can measure uh, very slight touches here and it's got a magnetic top that comes off. You can uh, see it better that way. Um, so this is the magnetic base and then there's also going to be these uh, left and right load cells that come in here. This one's, they've got adjustments for the, in the post. You can raise them to the height you want. This one doesn't have the clamp on it yet. Uh, I've got to make that. This one's got the clamp on it. And so all of these will go back to uh, amplifier circuits. This is the, uh, the clamp that clamps to the head bar right onto the, uh, the mouse. And so you, um, again, you can slide these around and get it positioned exactly where you want them and adjust the height as you'd like it. Lock them in with the magnetic uh, locks and then uh, clamp down the, the mouse here.